there are some things that families just cannot be flexible on when looking to upsize their family home. You're often locked in on a tight budget, you have some specific must-haves and deal breakers, and location is usually pretty important. So how do you find a home that meets your needs and fits your budget when it feels like there's just nothing out there? In this quick video, I'll be sharing with you three criteria to adjust in your home search when you're not having any luck finding a home to fulfill your dreams of planting roots. At the end of this video, I'll also share with you the one thing not to do when adjusting your home search. First, start with getting critical with your current new home wish list and reevaluate your wants, needs, and deal breaker lists. Are all of the items on your needs list actual needs or can they be moved to the wants list? However, be honest and don't budge on things that your family really does need because then you'll find yourselves quickly unsatisfied and feeling like you just settled for your home. One way to reevaluate your wish list is to organize the three lists. Write them out with the most important items at the top and the least important features at the bottom. This can help you get more realistic with your wish list and can give you more flexibility in the homes that will meet your family's needs. Okay, so the next two might be a little more difficult, but it's super important to be honest and realistic with where things stand. When you're trying to move, especially with young kids, the areas that you consider moving into are very important, and rightfully so. I know you're factoring in what schools your kids will attend, how young the neighborhoods are, and what activities and amenities the area has to offer for families and kids. I encourage you to be more open to other areas or towns. Consider opening those boundaries up, and you're likely to find a home that may be a little more affordable, also in a younger neighborhood, and also has a great school system. If you have made reasonable adjustments to your wish list and are still not finding a home that suits your family's needs, then it may be a good idea to get out of home searching for a little bit and then try again in a couple of months or a year. This will give you time to save more money, decompress from the stress and tension that I'm sure has been building up, and it lets the market cycle through so that when you are ready to get back out there, the homes are fresh and new to you. By taking this time, you'll be calmer and more relaxed and you'll be in a better space to make decisions based on logic and not emotions or desperation. And finally, one thing that you do not want to do when re-evaluating your wish list is to increase your budget. When home buyers are not finding what they're looking for, they often think that the answer lies solely in raising their budget, which can cause more problems and hardships later on if you are not prepared for the higher monthly payments. It's never a good idea to max out at the top of your budget for a home. Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to keep your monthly payment to about 25% of your net or take home monthly income. I'll be diving further into this topic in another video, but for now, just know that your pre-approval is based on your gross income, which doesn't really give an accurate picture on what you can comfortably afford. You want to make sure you are able to handle surprise expenses when they come up. And as the kids get older, there will be more that you have to pay for. So make sure that you are not pouring all of your financial resources into a house because that is not a forever home situation. So here's a quick run through of things you can adjust on your wish list when you are having a hard time finding a new home to upsize your family into. First, go through your wants, needs, and deal breakers list. More critically, and arrange them in order of most important to least important. Consider being more open to other neighborhoods or towns. And if nothing else is working, consider putting the home search process on pause. Let the market cycle through and give yourself a break from the stress of the process. And of course, do not adjust your budget. Try to stick to 25% of your net income. If you found this video helpful and would like to get more ideas on how to prepare your family to upsize into your forever home, then check out the other two videos in this series, how to analyze homes for your family and how to create a realistic new home wish list with your family. If you have any questions on this topic or anything else related to real estate in Chicago's Southwest suburbs, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to share more about what real estate and life is like in the area. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you around.